Continuing our special coverage from the 2013 Pyeongchang Special Olympics, our Song Ji Sun has the highlights of day four of the international sporting event. The skaters burst off the line and start the race. They are not decked out in the gear we might normally see on the track, as some of them are using hockey skates for speed skating. But these Special Olympic skaters are showing fans their skills as they make their way around the track with spectators cheering them on as they go. Just under the track, senior skaters are gliding across the ice with grace and at ease. It's a compulsory event for the most advanced figure skaters here at the Special Olympics. These level 6 skaters can change edges or directions with just one foot, inside or outside, forward or back. Based on their level and age, we group the participants in groups of up to eight, so everyone can receive an award. And judges evaluate whether they successfully executed designated elements in this event. Even if the competitors haven't skated for years, like these season skaters, there is still room for them to be part of the Special Olympics. If you thought you could only watch ice or snow sports in winter games, think again. Because in Special Olympics, there is floor hockey, a bit similar to ice hockey, that encourages countries without relevant facilities to take part. Those countries include places as far afield as Uganda and Venezuela. When faced with a strong opponent like Germany, the team manages one point throughout the nine rounds of three minutes. But then one thrilling moment and the chance to compete here in Pyeongchang is what made the long trip here worth it. It took us more than a full day to get here, and we are still jet lagged with the 13 hour difference. But it's a unique experience to represent our country at the Special Olympics. And it certainly will be, as they will all be winners, bringing home either a medal or a ribbon at the end of their journey here. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News, Gangneung.